Hi, it's time to talk about BC Rich. Again. <laughs> I've made a video about BC Rich before, my most popular one to date, but as it turns out, shit gets worse, as it's been brought to my attention that they have a custom shop, or at least that's what they're calling it. So I'm gonna cut the crap and get straight into the crap. <laughs> For exhibit A, we have this custom shop Eric Rutan signature Ironbird. For $7,300. <laughs> if you don't know, Eric Rutan has been a member of Cannibal Corpse since 2021, acting as the replacement for Pat O'Brien, who was arrested for, I guess, taking their lyrics a bit too seriously. <laughs> this guitar is spec'd out with a Floyd Rose tremolo, Fishman Fluence modern pickups, Eric's own custom inlays, and his own Rutan red finish. If you've been watching the channel for a while, I know I'm starting to sound like a broken record at this point, but it has to be said, you can get a guitar with near identical specs for eight to nine hundred euro. <laughs> the Sawtooth Americana Heritage 7 String, part of Sawtooth's Michelangelo Badio signature series. 7 strings, the same Fishman Fluence pickups, the same Floyd Rose bridge, there's a red finish option too, albeit not Rutan red, what a deal breaker for a six thousand dollar difference. <laughs> the only difference is the shape and the fact that it has Michelangelo's signature on it and not Eric Rutan's. What? Handcrafted you say? Well for that money it better be handcrafted by Eric Rutan himself. Exhibit B? Oh, just this purple warlock for six grand. Equipped with a Floyd Rose bridge and EMG 81 and 85 pickups. They put EMGs in a $6,000 custom shop guitar. This has to be a joke. Another thing that you'll notice upon closer inspection of their custom shop guitars is that none of them are ever in stock. Custom shop snakeskin gunslinger, four grand, out of stock. Custom shop purple JRV, six grand, out of stock. Custom Chuck Shoulder Stealth, $6,500, out of stock. Custom shop ST Legacy, $3,200. Black and silver are marked as out of stock. Orange and red both read, sorry, this product is unavailable. Please choose a different combination. So black and silver sold out, but the other two never existed? <laughs> to me this seems suspiciously just like a hype thing, you know, similar to the situation with Fortin amps. $10,000 for an amp head, but no one actually owns one and it's perpetually out of stock. It's just kind of sitting there on the website being expensive and creating hype. With the prices of these guitars, you could just hit up like Neil Moser, one of the other ex-custom shop guys from BC Rich that lurk around the BC Rich Junkies Facebook groups, and ask them to build you guitars with better specs for less than half the price. Apparently people have actually done that, and I honestly see why, because not only could you actually buy them, but you could customize them, and that's another thing. They call these custom shop guitars, but who's customizing them? <laughs> that purple $6,000 Warlock I showed you has nothing to differentiate it from the $2,000 Warlock that I had here for my first BC Rich video, except that it is actually equipped with worse pickups. <laughs> Other than that, no fancy woods, EMGs, 25 and a half inch scale length, Shredzilla neck, this is a regular guitar. Or this, Custom Shop 50th Anniversary JRV. Don't tell anyone, but it's sold out by the way. It has the same flimsy ass plastic kill switch I complained about the $2,000 Warlock having in my first video, EMG 81 and 60 pickups, once again, Floyd Rose, and they won $6,500 for it. You might think my standards are a bit high and I'm out of touch with reality or something, but just look at this Legator signature guitar for the guy from Buried Alive. Look at that metal kill switch that they put on it. How much do you think that cost? Not $6,500. Maybe the luminescent inlays that I've seen on mid-range Ibanez and Solar guitars are making the $4,500 difference here. That's as good a guess as any at this point. By the way, I'm not sure why they seem so proud that all of these guitars are made in the USA. USA! United States of America! USA! Made in USA! Thank you, USA! I know that guitars made, for example, in Southeast Asia get a bad rap, often for good reason. But if they're handcrafted, as BC Rich so proudly proclaim on their website, then the country is irrelevant. <laughs> if we were talking about guitars made on a conveyor belt in like factories, then being rather averse to say Indonesian made guitars and more drawn to USA made guitars is 100% understandable. But if one person is building the whole thing by hand, why is their location relevant? <laughs> and to end on, here's a screenshot from BC Rich's Instagram from December of 2021 claiming they'd have iron birds with Kayla tremolos and harpoon headstocks out by the first quarter of 2022. It is now May. A quarter of a year is three months. You seen one yet? Because I know I haven't and the people on the BC Rich forums on Facebook haven't either. So that's pretty much the end of the video. I guess the conclusion is that if you want a custom shop spec BC Rich style guitar, 
either hit up Neil Moser, buy a Neil Moser guitar, or go on the BC Rich forums on Facebook and hit up one of the ex custom shop guys and have them build you one. But if you're going for original BC Rich, prepare to file chapter 11. <laughs> no, actually, you won't have to because you can't buy them. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. You can watch my first BC Rich video up here. You can subscribe somewhere down there if you feel like it. All my social media is in the description. Like, subscribe, hit the bell. I'll see you next week.